Hey everyone, I just want to make a quick video showing a CAD computer for around $1,500. Uh, so the specs are a i5-11600K, 32 gigs of DDR4, uh, 4000 megahertz RAM, um, and a RTX 4000. You can also put in the new RTX A2000 because the RTX 4000 really only fits in budget if it's under $600 and used on eBay. Uh, and I'll post the PC part picker link in the description. Um, and if you can't find like a RTX A2000 or a RTX 4000 for under 600 then a RTX or non-RTX just P2200 would probably be okay or P2200 I reset it. Um, here it is running SolidWorks. This is just the example file. I forget which one. This is the motor casing and switch top plate, which you can access just by going to Welcome, uh, Learn, Tutorial Samples right here, and it will be in Advanced Drawing, Motor Casing with Switch Top Plate. It's also the biggest file. So I just want to show the performance of it right here, so you can see it's really speedy. For around fifteen hundred dollars, and not going to save. And then the Cinebench score. This is this would be the CPU. So multi-core score would be eleven thousand and seventy-three. So pretty good. Uh, of course, it's not going to be like a thread ripper. Um, but the main reason I picked this CPU is because the single-core speed is fast. Um, and in this video, I'll attach the Passmark pictures. So Passmark, you know, it's really fast, 99th percentile for the memory, especially, uh, and all graphics, everything. It's really fast for only $1,500. So right here you can see, you got the Quadro RTX 4000 and the i5-11600K. You can get the non-K variant, because I wouldn't think that you'd be overclocking on a CAD computer. Or you could, of course, but if you can save money, but... I think when I bought this, the K version was actually cheaper. Yeah, so 6 core, 12 thread. And then this is just G Skill memory. G Skill is fine. People usually say it's cheap, but I mean, I use G Skill in pretty much all my systems because it's the best value. You know, in, I've never had a G Skill stick fail on me. But 4000 megahertz. I mean, 3600 is fine. You really don't need a high speed. It's just that the 4000 megahertz was good enough, and you know, why not get it? And yeah, I do have VMware installed. That's why these there's these two Ethernet adapters. Um, so it runs SolidWorks really well. AutoCAD also really well. I don't really know if there's that much else that I could show. Um, if you want to look at the system again. So it's got 700 watt power supply. Really any power supply is going to work. I just wanted to get an 80 plus gold. Motherboard is Asus. I think. To be honest, I'm not 100% sure. And there is a 1 terabyte WD Blue uh, NVMe drive. SN550. I think that's the whole... Si system. This is a Zalman S2 case. The metal is a little flimsy. Um, I mean, it's mostly fine. I would get the tempered glass side panel. I bought the acrylic. Um, it didn't break or anything. I just have it on so I can display this, but the glass would probably be better than the acrylic. I mean, it's like $10 more, I think. But the glass, is, I mean, A, looks better, and it's. I think it'll hold up a bit more than the acrylic, because the acrylic scratches kind of easily. It's got two in intake fans, one out, uh, and I got a Be Quiet cooler on it. I mean, really, you can do anything. Intel's idle pretty low, so you don't really have to worry about too much about heat. But yeah, that's mostly it. I picked up the RTX 4000 for six hundred thirteen dollars and like ninety two cents on eBay. Um, but normally, I found them to go around eight hundred dollars, so. You know, it it's really only want to get an RTX 4000 if you can find it for a good price. I mean, 800 is fine if if you need, 
the performance of an RTX 4000, then yeah, you know, you can spend $800. But I just managed to find a good deal, so I bought, well, I, bu I bought one and I bought another one. But yeah, that's the whole system. It's kind of a long video for a build like this. Um, performs really well. Good price range, too, especially considering the GPU storage. However, when this video goes up, I mean, I'll probably have the RTX A2000. I have a pre-order in on an RTX A2000, and I'll do the, I'll do a, like, a review of that on this computer instead. But for right now, I just have the RTX 4000. Yeah, so, I don't know, overall, this is probably the best you can build for $1,500, or around.